Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at work solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam that will be sat by students studying a BTEC Level 3 National in Engineering. Now the document that we're referring to in particular today are the sample assessment materials for the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam and this document is issue 2 that is or has previously been available on the Edexcel website. Question 11 requires us to apply the continuity equation and the question states coolant is being passed through a tapering pipe and we have a diagram of the tapering pipe there with an inlet area of 0.02 meters squared and an outlet area of 0.012 meters squared so the area is reducing. We're also given the initial velocity here and the question asks us to calculate the output flow velocity of the coolant. So what we're trying to find is the velocity on the right hand side here. Now we only have one equation that we need to apply here, the continuity equation. And the continuity equation states that V1A1 equals V2A2. Now you may also see this expressed as U1A1 and U2A2, where U or V is the velocity and A is always the area. So let's have a look what we've got here. We've got the inlet to the pipe, which we're going to call position 1, and we've got the outlet to the pipe, which we're going to call position 2. We're given A1. A1 is just 0 0.02 metres squared. And we're also given V1, which is 6 metres per second. We're given A2, 0 0.012 metres squared, and we're asked to calculate V2 the output flow velocity of the coolant. So if we look at our equation there, what we need to do is rearrange that equation to make V2 the subject. So we want to get V2 on its own. And the way that we're going to do that is by dividing each side of the equation by A2. And what we'll be left with is V2 equals V1 A1 over A2. And inputting our numbers, we get 6 times 0 0.02 over 0 0.012, giving us a velocity V2 equal to 10 metres per second. Now, if we refer back to our diagram there, we have the duct or the pipe tapering or becoming narrower. And as we would expect, as the pipe becomes narrower, the velocity speeds up because the volume flow rate needs to remain the same. So our answer of 10 metres per second there, we can assume is accurate. 